Uh, Trayvante versus the mailman. Sorry, yes, the yeah, mailman. The mailman. Future. mailman. Mailman future. Mailman future. All right, so we've got a little bit on the line right here. If Trevante loses this set, he's gonna give up Smash Four. Oh yes, this was. Yeah. This is based on a video that is recorded a long time ago. It was not even recorded. About a year ago. It was, ago. A, li it was, it was a live stream. stream. Yeah. And we gotta change I, that tag. It's Mailman Future now. I have saved the video, and I have the direct quote from Trevante. Yes. <laughs> so. If he loses this, he's gonna quit Smash Four forever. Yeah. So there's a lot on the line for this guy. <laughs> but Future, I mean, we, we know a lot about him. Oh, no. <gasps> Nasty. That needle would have been super sick if it managed to connect. Yeah, I mean, we all saw what happened earlier with Future. He's not, he's riding a wave of momentum right now. We're going to see if he can capitalize on it. Yeah, but right there. Oh, no tech right But who knew he was going to land on the stage? No, I mean, this thing with Sheik, he's got so many options in that situation. She, Ooh. sorry, she. Yeah. Oh, up air. Not able to get a conversion off of it, but still is actually reset neutral pretty well, and that's a good plus. Oh, yeah. no. Better than being in disadvantage, right? No, definitely better. I like that. Trey, Trey actually comes up with ways to, to go for the ledge trump in the air. Uh -huh. He just plays around with his momentum very well, like we saw there. Well, nice use of the PK Thunder right here to yeah, but keep neutral. Mm -hmm. uh, Trey Vonte bouncing fish away from the situation. And now just trying to apply pressure to tra uh, to Future by just run up shield, but I feel like, whoa, Simon pushed him away slightly. Yeah, it's like yeah, nice. these, these like neutral exchanges that Trey is coming out marginally ahead of. Yeah. Like, if you watch them in a vacuum, it looks like it's like Trey's barely winning, but he's really cap. He's he's starting to capitalize more and more off this. Oh, that was super smart from Future. Also, he actually went the other way around so that it wouldn't. He wouldn't get sniped out for the PK Thunder, but yeah. Bouncy Fish destroying it and also destroying Future right there. Such a deep uh, Bouncy Fish. You couldn't even see what was going on. And All right. Okay, see, as soon as Trey gets on the ledge, he knows he's going to have to watch out for, for Yo-Yo. That's the option that Future's been going for the mm -hmm. last couple of times. So he tries to set up for that reverse. Oh, uh, my goodness. Smash. Bouncing Fish. Oh, oh, that's unfortunate. That was difficult tech to tech situation yeah. right there. Uh, I know they're... So Smashville, uh, in particular, has like these weird angles. Not saying that Trevante would have teched if he managed to, but there are some angles in Smashville where even if you were, were able to, te uh, to tech, you still couldn't. Yeah, that's, that's actually just due to the nature of the geometry of the stage yeah. itself. Yeah. And it's like a very, very small like part of the stage. Yeah. Oh, no, we teched it! Yep. Good stuff right there from Trevante, and you have to challenge that stuff. You yeah. have to be comfortable with getting hit by PK Thunder also because it makes the length of PK Thunder 2 go much shorter. PK Rocket, yeah. Is that what it's called? I always call it PK Thunder 2. Yeah, you can call it either or. Yeah. It's widely accepted. Yeah, and I mean, like, Trevante knew that he was going to have to take the hit, so he was ready to tech. Like, and that just like goes further into you know uh, I'm agreeing with you basically. Yeah. Yeah. You, yes. You really you really do have to be ready for the situation. Ooh. Ooh. Oh yeah, I see what he's doing. He's that doesn't even reset. do that much damage compared to fourth throw bouncing fish, but it was neat. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure he was trying to go for a jab reset there. Yeah. Uh, if if Future had faded into the stage, he would have been able to land a soft hit in there, which would yeah. have jab reset. But uh, Future being smart enough to fade to the to the ledge. Yeah. Uh, prevented that situation from happening, but Trevante was still able to get a follow-up. Okay, great follow-up from Trevante. Got Future in the disadvantage, but Future gonna recover nicely. Yeah, and right now it looks like Future is just kind of like not comfortable, really. He ran off stage and did a really late back air on Trevante's recovery, so I kind of want to see uh, Future step up his mental play right now. I mean, right now, Trey is actually... Uh, so he's... He hasn't been empty hopping a lot, but when he has, he's actually gone for, like, you saw the last interaction was a dash tag. An option that Sheik doesn't really go for that much. Yeah, but it does catch Future off guard. Yeah. Right there, fourth throw Bouncy Fish, not ready for the 50-50. Yeah, I, that just, I think that's just chalk up to reaction time. Like, mm -hmm. Future was just a little bit shook from that. There's oh my god, he actually got it. There it is. Nice. Uh, very lucky that Future actually didn't fall off the stage from when that happens, because you do slide a considerable amount. Yeah. Nice. But you, you do cancel that, so like he he would have just grabbed the ledge, I think. Yeah. Yeah. If oh. He, if he slid off. I'm not quite sure what that uh, that vanish was for, but got back on the stage, so 
He's uh, he's got a considerable lead right now. Yeah, yeah. nice back air to catch Future off the stage and trying to snipe him out with uh, needles, but another great nair from Future right there. So this is that's uh, that's something that Future has actually learned how to react to based on playing Trevante a number of times because he knows that Trevante likes to go for those uh, those needle spikes. Yes, and so he just he was just able to react accordingly and properly. Yeah. And what's really good about Needles in this matchup uh, particularly was if off stage, of course, you know, if you get hit by it, you, you get staggered, so you have to restart your PK Sunder. Yeah. Or if uh, he managed to get PK Rocket, one hit of the Needles could actually make the length of PK Rocket much shorter. Yep. Uh, he's going to go for it again. Oh. Ooh. That's it. Yeah. So that was. That was an interesting interaction right there. I feel like. I feel like. Trevante really scared Future yeah. into going for that it, PK Thunder. It was. <laughs> it was definitely <laughs> it was. like it was definitely like a option that like the normal safe option would be to go for the ledge. Yeah. And Trevante just like saying, hey, don't don't recover low. Yeah. And also with that platform there said, don't recover high. high. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got the switch to Fox right now, even though Trey's up 2-0. So Trey's trying to show Exax how the matchup is supposed to go. <laughs> is this is this the plan? I don't I don't think so. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about Trevante playing uh, Fox. He did play Fox in Brawl, but yeah, that was a long time ago. And now I actually Smash 4. I haven't seen Trey's Fox in a while. I don't think I've ever seen Trevante play Fox in at all. He played it for like a couple of games at at at, uh, at the last. Um, Imitational, not like not in the tournament. He oh, was okay. playing like friendlies. Was, like friendlies, yeah. Uh huh. And like it, it looked good. It looked like a really good box. So I yeah. imagine he just knows Whoa. how to play this game. So that back air was way out of left field. All right. So on paper, I like I honestly can't really tell the difference between most high level boxes, as, especially with like so little data on Trevante's box. Mm -hmm. But like. Whoa. I think right now, I think right now, Future is used to how people like, like Exax play. Uh huh. Exax, Madomo. Yeah. The, the foxes that are around here. Trey's actually mixing it up quite well on the ground. Yeah, he's just staying actually really far away until he knows that Future has committed to an option. Yeah. Okay. And he's he's kind of doing that to an extreme. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Nice. That's it. That patience right there. And Future thought he was being sneaky with that side magnet stall, but nope. No. Fox is a fast character. And with reaction times like Trevante, you can't get away with that. Wow. Great DI, actually, from Trevante. Yeah, but he's actually going to get caught again. Yep. <laughs> that up air actually hit the legs of... Uh, <laughs> I actually feel like that's an S-Fox matchup in a nutshell. <laughs> no, there's also back throw. Oh, you're right. But there's back throw with every matchup versus Ness. Yeah, but that's... I mean, Ness is up air. <laughs> it's every matchup with Ness, too. But I mean, like, it's like, oh, yeah, you recovered, you missed, like, you didn't die because you di the first up air correctly. Now hit the second up air, you're definitely going to die. Oh, yeah. yeah. I feel like that is definitely true for every character <laughs> against Okay, Ness. that's fair. I guess that's fair. <laughs> yeah, that is his kill move. Yeah. So, some, some, though, you got that down smash, though. Down smash at the ledge? Yeah. That's a good option, too. Yep, yep. Okay, but like this is actually starting to look Ooh, a lot more even. Psy magnet. I, you know what? I would rather take the laser damage than risk a psy magnet. Yeah. Because it's not. It's, I mean, how much are you gonna really heal? Oh, up air, no conversion. Gets is another up air though. You're looking Whoa. like shaky right there. Oh, he gets the, gets the miss tech, but actually goes for a dash attack instead of going for a jab. And right now, yeah. Trevante is looking really, really shook. So. One thing that I'm not seeing from Future is he hasn't actually been using the PK Thunder, so I think he's trying oh, to go. Oh, yeah, he was. He just killed him with back. Yeah, back. that's what happens when you're running and trying to up smash. And yeah, man, you're gone. I just, I, I feel like Future's actual game plan was try to condition Trevante to not expect PK Thunder, so that he could probably get something out of uh, PK. Like PK Rocket versus Sheik was a lot worse, and he's just switching, switching back to Sheik. Yeah, so. of course. I think he wanted to show Exax. <laughs> I think you're right that he wanted to show up Exax, but yeah. we got back to his standard character that he plays, Sheik. Yeah, I I think I especially think in that matchup you really have to be careful for fastball up air, but um, Sheik can kind of maneuver in the air a lot better than Fox. Obviously, with a much yeah. less linear recovery, it's going to be a little easier. Uh huh. And it's also part of like how comfortable you are with moving the character. I'm sure Trevante, being very proficient at playing Smash Bros in general, yeah. he's clearly. Super, super comfortable with playing with Sheik compared to like Fox. 
It's Ooh. something we actually haven't seen a lot from Future or Trevante is like they haven't really been walking a lot. Walking? Yeah, I I honestly think walking as Sheik is a, is is really scary. Uh, just because you're able to have those micro spacings out or Ooh. figure out. Ooh. Oh my god. Alright, you have fair too, that's a good option. Fair one direction hit, yeah. him. <laughs> hit him and fair him back the other way. Oh, okay. Trying to go with that uh, fair to kind of catch Trayvante off guard and maybe get a stage spike, but gets back on the stage. I honestly think that Trey has learned to uh, not try to go be too greedy. Oh, you say that, but that was deep. Oh, oh no, no, no. no. Uh, Commentator's curse. My needles. bad. My B. <laughs> That was that was actually a weird charge that's, for needles. Yeah, so. that's like that's like the word. I'm pretty sure he was trying to either bouncy fish. Uh huh. I'm pretty sure he was trying to bouncy I, fish. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Get a really uh, sharp angle for it. Yeah, I mean that that, that kind of thing happens. You you feel like the controller eats your input, but still, future trying to capitalize on this on this lead right now. He's yeah. got a, he's got a little bit of meat on him, so. Mm -hmm. Sheik does have a little bit of difficulty killing at this percent, so unless he gets caught in a 50-50. Nice grab, but... Ooh, that was a nice air dodge trap right there with that up air. Yeah. The air dodge, you get hit by another up air. Okay. But Bouncy fish. 0% on future, 53 on Trevante. Yep. And it's it's looking pretty tense for Trevante, really. That's an option we actually haven't seen. We actually haven't seen uh, future space out in the air with the back air too much in this set, so... I mean, it's a good option, but he's got to be careful with it. Yeah, he's been, uh, oh, no. honestly, he's been just, like, whiffing it, hoping it would hit. Oh, this is it. This yeah, is this it. this is probably it. Yeah, he's, he's dead. Wow, just one offstage interaction, and Futures just dies. I mean, that kind of happens when you when you can read PK Thunder like that with mm -hmm. Trevante's prediction, and that's a clean 3-1 for Trey. He's going to be moving on.